All right, so you have created a form for yourself using JOT form, and you have probably embedded the JOT form to be inside your website as this kind of an iframe embedded. So what you want to happen with almost every project where you have any type of contact form or lead generation form or whatever, you want the submissions, when someone clicks on the submit button, you want to track and measure these. So you want to uh, tell Google Analytics, for example, that, hey, we got a new form conversion action, someone submitted the form. You probably want to tell Facebook, meaning the uh, Facebook pixel, or perhaps Google Ads, or TikTok, or Reddit, or LinkedIn inside tag, or the Twitter pixel, or any of these tools. You want to measure so you can improve your marketing campaigns, your ads, uh, measure your ad performance, etc. Now, the problem is that this is actually really difficult to do. I'm going to quickly explain why that is. The problem is that this chart form is something called an iframe. So the iframe is not actually a part of your website at all. It's basically kind of like a window into another website. So here you can see it's a window to the chart form. And we can't really know what happens inside this uh, other website because we can't add uh, code to other, other websites. Otherwise, I could, you know, inject some bad code into Google or Facebook. We can't add code into other, uh, other websites. And because this is just a window into another website, we can't really know what happens inside of it. So conversion tracking, measuring these submissions is very hard. So even though we want to tell Google Analytics and Facebook and Google Ads and all these tools, it's tricky. It's hard. To solve this problem, I have created a product which you can buy, which is just a single simple file, which you can drag and drop into this tool called Google Tag Manager. You probably know Google Tag Manager. It is the industry default free tool to do this kind of analytics measuring and conversion tracking. So this is just a pre-built setup contains contains like dozens of different tags and triggers and variables and uh, custom coded JavaScript code and templates. And it's going to handle all this conversion tracking for you. And I've spent like months on it with my 10 years of experience. So it's actually really well crafted and you can just get it in a few clicks. So I will install it and show you how it works. Okay, so here I'm going to import this file. So basically, I've just, you know, drag and drop the file here, chose a few settings. I have video instructions that will guide you through all this, but it's really, really simple. So you just click confirm. And now all this stuff has been added to your Google Tag Manager without you spending days, weeks or even months figuring it out. All right, so with this simple importing of file, you are almost, you know, tracking conversions of your chat form already. Now, there are a few things you, you need to edit or copy paste. So, for example, you would, you would need to go to your Google Analytics and just copy paste the stream ID into here. You may already have a Google tag and that's great. Then you won't even need to do uh, this. But there is another tag also, which will send the conversion event for job forms. And here you would also just copy paste your Google Analytics ID. The Facebook pixel, usually you don't even need to copy paste this because my setup works automatically if you already have a Facebook pixel, but I'm going to copy paste it either way. Let's do one more. Let's do the Google Analytics one. Uh, sorry, Google Ads. So this is really simple. I'm just going to copy the conversion ID from my Google Ads conversion to the conversion ID of this chat form Google Ads tag. Then I'm going to do the same 
for this conversion label. So we are sending the conversion to the correct conversion with the correct name and we're sending it to, you know, your Google Ads instead of, for example, my Google Ads account. Really simple, few copy pastes. Okay, so now let's test by submitting, uh, doing a submit of the form. I'm not just going to fill my email address and click submit. Okay, then I can actually check using this tool called Google Tag Assistant. Again, my uh, product has step-by-step -step video instructions, which are more, more detailed than this video, but this is a free tool, really easy to use. So we can see that there is a new trigger called JotForm submitted, and it has fired these conversion tags. So I have a bunch of them. You can see Google Ads, Google Analytics, uh, we have Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, or Metapixel, and we have another format for the Facebook Pixel as well. So now when I go to my Google Analytics, I can actually in real time see that we got this chat form submit, which is this conversion event here. And we can see it happened here on my website. The same thing, same thing applies for Facebook. So I can go to my events manager and I can immediately, like within the same second, I can see this chat form submit custom event that just came in. So there's also another format, lead. So my setup comes with, you know, different names, which you may prefer, category chat form submissions, everything set up for you. And let's check out this Google Ads conversion, the chat form submit. You can see that it it uh, is inactive or unverified, but because I now, you know, did my test submission here and I have not refreshed, let's see when we refresh the Google Ads, I think we will see that the inactive turns into uh, these no recent conversions, which is what we want. Perfect. So all of these conversions fired correctly. And all you needed to do was drag and drop one file to Google Tag Manager. I also have instructions how to install Google Tag Manager, but pretty, ev pretty much every website has this installed by default. Are you ready for a more advanced version? So if you would like to use a redirection to a to external link after submission, this is also possible. And my setup has these instructions for these custom uh, parameters you can add into a URL, which make again the conversion tracking automatic. So just to demonstrate some of the instructions you get with the product, there are these screenshots, and there are these ready-made things you can copy paste into your external URL. So I could just copy this and paste it here after my thank you and it's going to track conversions automatically. So this external redirection is good if you want any of the form values in your conversion tracking. So I have things like email, phone number, price, submission ID, form title, etc. So these can be very useful if I want to, for example, track a price, the value of the conversion. So I have clients that do like TV uh, installation estimates or Dubai visa price calculations. And we can actually get the dollar or euro or a UK pound value and conversion track in Google Ads and Google Analytics and Metapixel. You know, how much money did you get? But also we can use the email, the phone number and the address for more accurate conversions in, for example, Google Ads. You can read about the enhanced conversion tracking on my website. But basically, the idea is that when we send phone numbers or emails to Google Ads, then it's going to be more accurate, you will track more conversions and more accurately track your conversions. Alright, so I have copy pasted these, you know, ready made 
snippets into my thank you page here. And then I'm also tracking conversions without needing much anything else. So let's head over to this page where we have the iframe with the redirection and demonstrate how that works. All right, so I just added some bunch of stuff here. Uh, you can also track with my advanced setup, you can track field values like I explained for the thank you page. So maybe you sell sol solar panels and you have these different options like commercial, nonprofit, residential. You are actually able to track the value or, for example, if you only want these to uh, track your conversions, you could make a filter very easily. So my setup is very kind of advanced and very flexible, easy to use. All right, so let's say you calculate a price for this residential solar thing. So let's click submit. And now we are redirected to this thank you page. So the URL here contains all this all these values that you set again using one of my copy pasted uh, formats. Okay, let's take a look at the Google Tag Assistant again. And here we can see a redirect thank you trigger was fired. Let's click on it and see we have the same tags that are being sent Google Ads, Google Analytics, Twitter, TikTok, Meta, Facebook, Pixel in various formats. And it's really easy to add your own, you know, like a LinkedIn tag. I will probably add LinkedIn very quickly, very soon, but anything you don't yet have, it's very easy to just plug and play. Okay, let's take a look at the data layer. We can see that the data layer is automatically populated with all this, like the name of the type form, submission ID, phone, names, addresses, and also the value, for example. These in turn turn into these variables, which you can use the name, phone number, all this stuff. So for this advanced redirection version, let's take a look at something like the Google Ads conversion. And click show more, we can see that we have this enhanced conversion value, which contains stuff like the email, the phone number, even the address. And you can very easily, you can easily again add the conversion value. So you remember the thing that we set up here when we asked about the price or calculated a price in chat form and we got the 2500 from my test submission it's now very easy to just add the value as the conversion value to something like google ads or any of your other conversion tags all right just to demonstrate what you get when you buy this thing you get these detailed instructions telling you to, you know, pause ad blockers and install this free tag assistant uh, Chrome plugin, which I was using. Uh, you get the product, so you get this file, you can drag and drop to your Google Tag Manager. You get a video. Well, this video showed you how to import, but you get a, you know, another one for that. Uh, then you get a video showing kind of going through all of these tags and what they do, how they work. Then we have some, uh, They ha we have these two different methods. So you have the simple method that I showed you and the thank you page method. We have a video for that. We have these URL formats uh, for your field values. We have some fixes uh, for personal information, which we can't send to Google. We have a domain exclusion instructions really easy takes just one minute so you will not see a uh, jot form as a traffic source but you will actually see the original traffic source like google.com or youtube or wherever the visitor came from you have uh, videos step-by-step -step videos for google analytics google ads set up all these you know screenshots showing how it's gonna work so if so like a six-year-old who can read english will able to just go through the step-by-step -step 
just do exactly what these videos are showing. There are even some advanced features. So for example, for Wix, we need this uh, extra code to make these conversions work. And if you want to redirect away from your website, for example, to Stripe, I also have kind of this tutorial video and this extra uh, tag, so which lets you do that. Uh, if you have problems, you can usually ask me for help and I'm, I'm usually pretty quick to answer. Uh, the terms and conditions for how much support you will get may change in the future, but usually I want to make really good products that work really easily. And if you have a problem, then usually I will go and fix my product. So you and anyone else who buys it in the future has an even better version. That's even, you know, easier to install. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching a pretty long one, but I think this really makes the chart form conversion tracking as easy as it can be. I wish it was a little bit easier, but I have done everything I can to make this easy, reliable, and the instructions so clear that anyone will be able to get their chart form conversions set up in a professional way. All right, I hope you will buy my product and let me know how it worked for you. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Cool. Thanks.